when you have a child, right? I, of course, don't think what I'm about to say, but many people see it this way that, yeah, but the child is three years old. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't remember. They're just speaking nonsense. They shouldn't be with the adults. They're not there yet. And even if we do get rid of them, they're, you know, they're not going to even remember it. They're, they're children and you know what I mean? Yeah. Brush them off. Yeah. The problem is not if they remember it or not. The problem is that they make decisions. Mm -hmm. They have all kinds of consideration that they pick up. So they pick up, for example, a consideration of I'm not important. My opinion is not important. I always make mistakes. I cannot be trusted. And they pick up all kinds of considerations that are totally lie. And the more lies they get, the worse their life become. So if your purpose is to, to destroy your child, by all means, do that. But if your purpose is to maximize the potential of your child, what you should do is include him, invite him to be with you. Uh, you've been with me as a child, wherever we've been going to meetings to parties to business meetings to the office to events to anything anything we've done you came with us yeah yeah and we never thought that you are not qualified to understand and you actually understood and contributed yeah. and every right. child have that potentiality because the definition of the word spirit is this thing that knows mm -hmm. and the child is a spirit in a small body. It's not a specialized kind of spirit. It's like exactly like an adult. The only difference is in a small body. Mm. That's all. And the fact that he has a small body and maybe he's not as uh, trained to use the body as an adult do not mean anything about his knowingness or understanding or his feelings or, or anything. He is exactly like an adult, he just have a small body. That's all. That's amazing.